All right, let's take a look at an example where you can sort of see this thing in action. So here's a function, capital F of x equals the integral from 3 up to x of t cosine t squared dt. I want us to figure out the um, derivative of capital F of x. I'm going to do it two ways. I'm going to do it the icky way and then the fancy way. All right, so the icky way is going to be to actually evaluate this integral. All right, so let's evaluate the integral. So if we evaluate the integral, I'm going to have, well, the integral from 3 to x of t cosine t squared dt. Well, I can't do this directly, so I've got to use some kind of trick. And notice that there's an inside here, t squared, whose derivative is kind of sitting on the outside here, t dt. So this is a u substitution. So let's do a little u substitution here. So let's let u equal t squared. So if I take the derivative, I see du dt equals 2t. And so du equals 2t dt. And I want t dt. And so if I divide both sides by 2, I see 1 half du equals t dt. So the t dt bubble can be replaced by, let's just consider the indefinite integral first. All of that can be replaced by 1 half. I'll pull that constant multiple out in front, du. And then this inside bubble of cosine t squared is just going to be cosine u. And now we can integrate. What's the integral of cosine u? Well, that's going to be sine. So I have 1 half sine of u. But now put back what u is. So in this case, it's going to be 1 half of sine of t squared. Don't believe me? Well, check the answer. Take the derivative of this. So the derivative of sine is cosine t squared. The derivative of the inside is 2t. So the 2 and the half cancel. I'm left with t cosine t squared. And that's exactly what I have here. Phew, look at all that work. I'm sweating because it's so hard to do the integral. All right, but we've got it. Now we've got to evaluate from 3 to x. So if we evaluate this from 3 to x, what do I see? When I plug in x, I see 1 half sine of x squared. And then I have to subtract off when I plug in 3, which is 1 half sine of 3 squared, which is 9. So after all that work, lots and lots of work, lots of work, 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 we see that the function f of x equals 1 half sine of x squared minus 1 half sine of 9. Phew! Now, the question is, what's the derivative? Well, if I got the function, now I can find the derivative. So let's take the derivative f prime of x. OK, so the derivative of 1 half sine of blop is going to be 1 half cosine of blop. I peeled away the sine. Now what's the derivative of the blop? The derivative of x squared is 2x. Great. And then this minus 1 half sine 9, that's just a number. That's a constant. The derivative of a constant is 0. So in fact, that's the answer. I could simplify that. And I see that the 2 and the 1 half cancel. And so let's see. Uh, how are we looking here? How are we looking? Well, I'm going to simplify the derivative. That should be derivative. And so what I see here is x cosine of x squared. So after all that work, I found the derivative of this function. That's a lot of work. But now let's use the fundamental theorem of calculus. Because if I use that, then I do this in one fell swoop. Look how strong this theorem is. Because this theorem says, hey, you want to take the derivative of this? Fundamental theorem just tells me all I do is plug the x right into that. Wow. Wow. Because notice these two things are the same. So. Here's the point. The point is the fundamental theorem of calculus really gives us the link between area under curves and derivatives. And if you think this is great, just stay tuned, because in the next lecture, we're going to take a look at the other fundamental theorem of calculus, which kind of goes the other way. Here, we're taking the derivative of an integral. The next one, we're going to take the integral of a derivative. Stay tuned. This is going to be awesome. Fundamental theorem of calculus is the most important theorem from the, from the subject, really. And it's at the heart of what makes calculus beat. I'll see you soon. <laughs>